With the latest craze of the 5000 series chipsets, are you still on an X470 or a B450 board? I'm here to show you how I went from a 1600 to a 5900 X. For those of you who have an ASUS motherboard that's still on B450 or X470, normally you'd have to wait till January for that to get these BIOS updates to support the AMD 500 series chipsets. However, HKEPC was able to get their hands on the new beta BIOSes. If I scroll down, as you can see, they have a bunch of different supported beta BIOSes currently. However, these are dropped in November 6th. So obviously these are not gonna be updated as you would normally from your actual board partner. So definitely use with precaution when downloading these files to update your own BIOSes. So I'm just preparing for the uh, BIOS update right now. So I was able to flash into the UEFI BIOS. Normally, what's our BIOS version? 3004, I'm trying to go to eight, I believe, or 8051, I forget the exact number. But currently we are on BIOS version 3004 from the build date of 12-16-2019. So this is a bit dated as you could say. Um, so we're gonna start our update process now. All right, so what we're gonna do here is go update the BIOS via USB. So I've already plugged in my USB with that beta BIOS. Um, how do I get there? All right, so we go to tool, ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility here. Is that, okay. So via storage device, well, I have to click next. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, it actually already found it for me, but I just wanna make sure that it's not in any of these other files. So right now we're at FS01, so no, no. These are probably the actual folder files. So let's go back to here. Should be this one, read this. Here we go. Version 8501 model ROG Strix B455i gaming from the 11th date. So this might take some time while we get there. Oh, all right, so that completed. So we gotta run the setup again. All right, Beta BIOS 8501X64 from 11.5.2020. So I'm gonna update this chip tomorrow to be a 5900X and I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'm bumping my CPU from a Ryzen 5 1600 AF, six cores, 12 threads, all the way up to the latest, greatest Ryzen 9 5900X at 12 cores, 24 threads. Okay, so after trying to troubleshoot and debug this for a while, um, I was able to finally get it to boot properly only due to the fact that I have two monitors and I did not plug in the right cord and that's why I was not booting. But now, as you can see, 5900X on a B450 board. B450 ITX board. Check it out, 5900X. Of course, this wouldn't be a proper ending without doing Cinebench R23 for both single and multi-score testing. In this case, my multi-score was 18,673 and a single score of 1,539 points. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, hit that like button below and subscribe for upcoming content. Peace.